Hey everyone, 44, holy moly. This is Amanda Roberts and today I'm coming to you live from Southern Illinois Raceway. And tonight is night one of the High Banks Hustle, a micro race the next three nights. But I'm here to talk a little bit something different, something totally different. So I've been sharing my journey all year I keep saying the same things and part of it is I know that often I have new followers, new Facebook friends, especially as I've grown um, through this Unstoppable Influencer Challenge. And I told you guys um, this challenge ends on Sunday and it's kind of been emotional. Um, I just finished my last Zoom coaching with my personal coach for this challenge, Jackie Corda. And I'm here to tell you guys, like, I was like emotional and like tearing up the entire time. But for good reason. I'm here to tell you that I am not the same person as I was on January 1. I am not the same person as I, w as I was on February 1st when I started working out very regularly at F45. I am not the same person as I was when I started or finished my first 21 day challenge in April with none other than Natasha Hazlitt. You guys, this, when I say that this challenge for me has been priceless, it's been worth millions of dollars because I've always sold stuff. I've always been that person that can go into a business and I can help other people do the same. I've always been that person that just, oh, that sounds like a great idea. Let's go do it. But when I came to the realization earlier this year, maybe the end of last year, I was like, I am on a search mission. I was on and am and I'm growing personally because I was on a search mission to figure it out. What is my true purpose? What am I really supposed to be doing? And you guys, um, I've grown in so many ways that I never could have ever imagined uh, from self-confidence and uh, speaking up for myself and not being a, you know, I joke now that I'm a recovering people pleaser and a recovering approval addict because I don't need that. And they're always going to be critics. There's always going to be people that have something negative to say or something inappropriate to say, or don't like how you're doing something, whatever. But the reality is, and the reason I'm sharing this is I realized the other day, we had an assignment, it's called the Universal Superstore Claim Form. And whether you're someone who asks God for things, you know, and asks abundantly, or you ask the universe for it, and or you follow Rachel Hollis and you ask, you know, she has you write down five things you're grateful for every day and then 10 things that are your goals, um, like for the next five years, 10 years, whatever, as if they've already happened. So, you know, you might write down like your dream house or whatever. Well, for the first time ever in my Unstoppable group, I shared 10 of the things on my claim form. And there's been some, and it was really, really, really hard. And what I just told Jackie was so eye-opening and maybe this will inspire somebody else. God gives us dreams, not not because, and, and oftentimes I think we, we don't pursue those things because we're like, oh my gosh, th that's too crazy. People are going to think I'm nuts. But in all reality, who cares? He doesn't give you a dream to match your budget. He doesn't give you a dream or the repetitive thoughts or signs for to pursue or do something to match your budget or because, you know, who cares? Even if someone has the same 
desire and dreams, it may be done totally different. And so for a long time, I've known certain things or I've had certain things or my divine, my inner voice, it's like, okay, this is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're supposed to do. And I'm like, what? Not going to happen. And why? Because we allow our egos, the naysayer, we allow the critics to influence us. We got to stop. If you continue to have a repetitive dream, if you continue to know that you're supposed to quit the job or change something or do something and you're not doing it, you're just staying stuck, you're allowing the enemy to win. You're allowing the ego to win. And it felt so good to get yet another confirmation. I got confirmation from Natasha herself on my private coaching call with her on Tuesday of exactly what I'm supposed to do. And telling Jackie about my phone call with Natasha and sharing the details, you guys, I'm just getting started. And what I'm, what I know that I've been called to do, it's not going to be for majority of you. I'm still going to do my lives. I'm still going to share. Maybe you'll get a sentence or a couple words that I say that are valuable to you, that they help you. But for those individuals who are supposed to be impacted by my calling, I hope that it inspires and changes lives. Because I know big things are ahead and my light has been reignited and it's just the beginning. So stay tuned. My end of this challenge is Sunday. So I'll probably still be talking about the challenge until Sunday. And then from there, I'm going to continue on my inner workings with the elite program so that I can go and get everything ready for what I've been called to do. So if you've been called to do something, stop ignoring it and go pursue it. I love you all. Have a great night. I may come live later because of the races, but that's all for now. Have a great day, guys.